Welcome to Man on the Moonjaro with Dave Knapp. I've got a great informative video for you today if you're trying to understand what GLP-1 medications are. But before we get into it, please hit that like, hit that bell, and hit that sub to make sure you get notifications for all the videos that I put out. We've got some upcoming videos here that are going to be really helpful for you. Uh, but time is kind of of the essence as it relates to being able to get your medications and the changes and the copay cards and all that fun stuff. So make sure you get the notifications for these videos. With that said, let's talk about GLP-1 medications. So you may know them as Ozempic, Trulicity, uh, Manjaro, which is why you're here, Victoza. There's lots of brand names of different GLP-1s, but to understand how these medications work, you need to understand about incretin hormones. So what are incretin hormones? Well, there's, there's two main incretin hormones. One is glucagon-like peptides. One, GLP-1. That's where these um, medications get categorized as GLP-1s. And the other is glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptides, or GIP. So there's two main incretin hormones. These hormones play an important role in regulating glucose metabolism and insulin production in the body. Incretin hormones are released into the bloodstream after a meal to help control glucose levels by increasing the amount of insulin your body's making and reducing the glucose that is produced by your liver. Did you know that your liver produces sugar, puts sugar into your bloodstream if you're type 2 diabetic? That's why you notice even after eating nothing for maybe 12 hours, when you wake up in the morning, your sugar spike. That's because your liver has the ability to make glucose. And so these GLP-1s reduce the amount of glucose that your liver makes. Drugs that mimic the effect of the incretin hormone, such as GLP-1 receptor agonists, are used in treatment for type 2 diabetes. And as we all know, now they're also used in treatment for obesity. Lots of videos that we've done on that, some different drugs that are in the pipeline. And of course, Manjaro that we're hoping this year in 2023 will be approved for weight loss. So what is a GLP-1 agonist? Because that's what these medications really are. They're an, a GLP-1 agonist. Well, a GLP-1 agonist is a type of drug that activates that GLP-1 receptor in the body. The GLP-1 receptor is activated naturally uh, by naturally occurring GLP-1, right? Which regulates the glucose metabolism and the insulin production in the body and your appetite, as we just talked about. So by activating the GLP-1 receptor, GLP-1 agonists, these medicines mimic the effect of GLP-1 and help to regulate uh, glucose and improve glucose control in people with type 2 diabetes. Now, the GLP-1 agonists are used as treatments for type 2 diabetics, and they're often administered by a once-weekly shot. So if you're on Manjaro, you already know uh, Ozempic, Wigovi, Trulicity, um, these medications are uh, given by a once weekly injection. I believe Victoza is a once daily injection, but there are some oral medications out there that you can take by pill. And there's also some in the pipeline or Forglapron is one of them that is being uh, uh, put through the trials this year by uh, Eli Lilly. Um, so want to talk a little bit about these GIP agonists. So um, GIP agonists are still a relatively new drug uh, that you've heard of is going to be Manjaro. So we talked about GLP-1 and now we're talking about GIP. So as I mentioned earlier, that's the glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. So what makes Manjaro specifically unique compared to something like Ozempic or Trulicity or Victoza is that it also acts on the GIP. So it's also a GIP agonist. So GIP is another naturally occurring hormone within the body that helps regulate glucose and insulin production. So you, you get this dual action, and that's why people see a lot more success, not only in their glucose control, but in their weight loss, because it also helps to regulate your metabolism and your appetite. So that's what makes uh, Manjaro kind of a, du a dual threat. Now, what's exciting is that um, the drug that's now in trials from Eli Lilly, ritatatride, Rita who tried? Ritatatride is the triple acting. So you've got the GLP-1 
you've got the GIP. And then this one is also going to act on glucagon receptors. And what they're finding with this medication in the early stages is that it's even better for weight loss than Munjaro. So you may see in the next couple of years that Ritatatride comes out and it, a lot of people that maybe have taken Munjaro or Wagovi or Ozempic in the past, switch on over to take the, this Ritatatride. Um, so the early stages have told us that it's not quite as good at glucose control, this Ritatatride, but better for weight loss. So that I hope was a helpful um, introduction into GLP-1s and what these medications do. And especially because this uh, channel is very heavy on Manjaro, I hope that this helps you understand a little bit more of why Manjaro is a superior medication, uh, both in weight loss um, and in glucose control for type 2 diabetics. If you found this information helpful, there's probably somebody else that would find it helpful. If you would do me the favor of sharing this with somebody who you think would find it helpful, I would greatly appreciate it. And we will see you on the next stream.